a large crowd followed him and pressed in on him. Now there was a woman who had been suffering from a hemorrhage for 12 years. She had endured much under many physicians and had spent all she had, and she was no better, but rather grew worse. She heard about Jesus and came upon up behind him in a crowd and touched his cloak, for she said, if, if I but touch his cloak, I will be made well. Immediately her hemorrhage stopped and she felt in her body that she was healed of her disease. Immediately aware that power had gone forth from him, Jesus turned about in the crowd and said, Who touched my clothes? And his disciples said to him, You see the crowd pressing in on you. How can you say, Who touched me? He looked around to see what, who had done it. But the woman, knowing what had happened to her, came in fear and trembling, fell down before him, and told him the whole truth. And he said to her, Daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace and be healed of your disease. Wow, that's really a powerful reading. Yes, it speaks to us, doesn't it? Yeah. Of, of yeah. women's um, yeah. welfare mm. and, mm. and the whole culture, which told women that they were uh, really untouchable. Um, yeah, untouchable. Un unclean when yes. they were, had blood flowing yes. from them. Yes. Yes. yes, yes. And this wasn't her normal um, monthly cycle. This was something which the was constant. medical, but they would still see yes. it as unclean. Yes. yes, yes. And I rather like that she had been with physicians for years and had had <laughs> no, no... We can see some bells ringing around yes. the, these yes. issues. Yes. But a, a beautiful expression of her need... Mm. Um, mm. and overcoming the fact that she knew she would make someone else unclean. Yes. She yes. would make this prophet yes. that she admired unclean if she touched, she touched him. him. But he wouldn't know. He this wouldn't is, know no, if she came up behind know. him and yes. just leaned out and touched yes. him. Just touch a part of yeah. him, yeah. which is sort of um, that sort of healing from superstition. Oh, I've got a yes. medal, oh, I've got something yes. to touch. Yes. Whereas she thought she was just going to touch. What did he know? Uh, he did know. Yes. He, the, well, he had the power, and yes. so the power, he, he yes. sensed he somehow the need yeah. of the woman and yes. cured her. Yes. And it's kind of like, I, I look at that and I read that and I think, have I got faith like that? Yes. Yeah. And I don't know. Sometimes I feel as if I have, and yeah. other times I feel as if I've got not yes. one yes. ounce of her faith. Yes. You know? Um, how do you know that your need is so mm. desperate mm. that it will move others? Well. It will move others. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Others in the community mm. can be moved by your needs. Yes. Yes. Their faith will reciprocate yeah. your faith. Yeah. This, yeah. I, I noticed that this is like from Mark's Gospel and in Matthew's Gospel, the Gospel of the community, that ask and you shall receive is right embedded in the local community. And it's, so it's not just ask from God, but it's let your needs be known to the local community. Yes. yes. And in a way, this is what this woman did. She she kind of reached out and everyone was round. And then she came and said, well, it was me it was because me. I needed help. Yes. Mm. yes. Mm. And I felt I was cured. Mm. That was mm. an amazing mm. statement. Mm. She'd mm. had it for 12 years. Yes. And in that flicker of time, mm. she mm. felt a complete mm. healing. Mm. Mm. And he knew his healing had gone from him yeah. you know did he get a great shiver <laughs> and think <laughs> what, what 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 happened yeah, yeah. Um, but that's perhaps uh, he could respond even mm. though she hadn't made that direct mm. approach which mm. is a beautiful mm. thing to mm. know of Jesus yeah and you know sometimes we don't have to badger at him we've only got no, to lean out no, and touch lean in touch and yeah. believe um, yes. Without saying that people, you know, I don't like, I don't like hearing that somebody hasn't been cured because their faith isn't strong oh, enough. Oh I think no, that can be very oh um, no. disturbing for people yes, because yes. there are all sorts of some um, of the answers, cures and helps. Yes. And, some uh, of the answers to faith are we cannot cure you. Yeah, absolutely. Yes. And and sometimes people are cured internally in their spirit, mm. but not physically mm. in their body. And we're asking no. God to cure within the domain we live in. This is yes. our culture. This is where we live. Yes. Um, is it possible to achieve it? That, that's an excellent statement, asking yeah. God to cure yeah. within the, the domain, domain in which we live. Yes. And I think that's real because we are an incarnated people. 
And Jesus was too. Jesus yes. was fully yes. human as well as fully God. We live in and this culture. Yeah. Uh, our expectations mm. are that God will override perhaps yes. some of the diseases mm. we experience, but mm. not all. We can't no. say, why no. hasn't God mm. solved the problems of disease mm. in the world, mm. solved the problems mm. of famine? Mm. We are the agents mm. of our own salvation here where we are. And I was just thinking in relation to this too, I have a friend um, who is not Catholic. In fact, I don't believe she has any kind of faith. And she has cancer at present, and I go and sit with her sometimes. And and I think, you know, we don't talk God because that's not within her orbit. Yes. But just the compassion and the sharing and the listening is what's helping her yes. deal with what's happening yes. to her body. Yes. You know? And, and that's the healing of the mind, mm. the healing of mm. the emotions. Mm. Yes. Mm. And she got all of those. She did. She didn't felt she? cured. Yeah. Yeah. She yeah. was cured physically. Yeah. She felt cured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She would have gone out and she would have gone to the synagogue. She would mm. have done all the things that a woman could now do. And to say thank you. She had been, we say, freed of that hemorrhage, but she yeah. had been put back yes. into her yes. society. That, had, that's a good. That's a good. Yes. Point too. Yes. yes. Yeah. She had been yeah. given her place yeah. again. Yeah. Mm. Very nice. Thank yeah. you, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good thing to reflect on for this week. Yes. Mm. It is. Mm.